All right, hey everybody, this is Black Dad and this is YouTube Secrets. And can you believe it? This is the conclusion, this is the end, finite, done. We are at the end of YouTube Secrets and it's been quite a journey, my YouTube channel journey through this book. We've gone chapter by chapter, part by part, taking it apart, putting it together, and now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the conclusion so as you saw in the last video it was chapter 13 and it was think differently think differently so um, now turning to this last video is called conclusion got my notes and let's go ahead and finish up on this wonderful creation done by Benji Travers and Sean Cannell um, from YouTube Secrets. So conclusion is, Thomas Edison said, opportunity is missed by most people because it, is, because it is dressed in overalls and it looks like work. Let me say that again. Opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work. If you're working and it feels like work, is that your passion? Is that what you believe in? Is that what you value? Or doing the mundane things day after day like we always do with some stuff that we have in our lives, is that truly what you want to do? That's one of the reasons why I'm going through my YouTube channel journeys because I want to flip the script. Blab Dad wants to do more than just do what I'm doing right now. So as it continues uh, within this chapter, it says massive opportunity and massive action Again, to see the potential on YouTube, if you've ever been on YouTube and you start scrolling through things, not just scrolling for a particular thing that you like, look at music and fashion and pop culture um, and all the other things that you may not particularly uh, have interest in and see how many people have interest in those types of things. And why do they have those particular interests? Why are those videos so interesting? So let me continue. The bis biggest misconception about YouTube success, and that is every YouTube creator, influencer, and success story has one common attribute, an amazing work ethic. They hustle, hustle, hustle. It's all about hustle. And one of the things that um, I've learned on Instagram through Dwayne Johnson, who you saw in our last video, The Rock, uh, a wrestler from WWE, uh, he hustles. And you can see that he is one of the, the most popular entertainers of all time. He's always on Instagram. He's always doing something in order to engage his audience and he's not embarrassed about it you know whatever has happened in the past um, he brings that up because it's a learning tool that's made him hustle to be where the rock is or Dwayne Johnson is right now in this part of his life so that's just one of the many people um, even though he's not a youtuber that's just an example of what hustle means because that's what I'm uh, that's what uh, I equate the hustle by watching him grow through the years when we talk hustle, we mean consistency. Consistently creating and optimizing your content. Consistently engaging with people. Consistently improving. Getting better and better and better. Like in the last video, one of the, um, uh, someone mentioned different is better than better. Different is better than better. And that's what all that consistency comes from is what can you come up with next? What can you um, make different that people are going to notice you on YouTube so you get those views that will hopefully uh, in turn um, get your subscribers to your, uh, to your YouTube channel? Through determination, commitment, and the right strategy, you too can experience huge success leveraging the power of YouTube. Again, since May, late May, um, I've consistently put out YouTube uh, videos like this one right here. This is a series that I'm going through uh, talking about YouTube secrets and um, 
there is one video, and I can't remember the the one that I put out there, and it may seem small, but to me it's huge. Uh, I got 111 views. I was thrilled about that. And um, that one outperformed the other uh, particular chapters of YouTube Secrets. I don't know why. And again, that's what the, uh, you know, the YouTube analytics and algorithm that you can look that up um, if you have your own YouTube channel and, and find out why people like what they like for that particular video. So for me, that's very, very exciting. Um, and I'm trying to leverage that YouTube in order to be like some of these big successful people who have gone on to be huge successes uh, within this uh, genre. Uh, now, I'm gonna go through the actual book itself. So we wrap up what YouTube Secrets is all about. So I'm gonna go to page 177 of conclusion and read it to you verbatim. In part one, we talked about the seven C's which you do continually as you go through the stages of growing your influence on YouTube. Always tapping into a new level of courage, always clarifying and refining your message and brand, always improving your channel, always improving your content, always engaging with your community and always finding new ways of generating cash and always staying consistent. Realizing you must hustle your way to success. Then, in part two, we shared some actionable tactics and creative ideas for growing your channel, including leveraging trends, ranking your videos, and collaborating with other creative people. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And there's some things that Blab Dad loves to do. And I'll mention that to you later. Um, but there's got to be some kind of passion that you have. And people go through stages of passion. What I thought I liked as a passion when I was a college student is not where I am all these years later. Uh, that has changed, whether and it's evolved. It's changed. It's evolved. And one of the things that people talk about that um, is always a consistent thing is um, death, taxes, and change. So those things never change at all. And you must embrace change. And it's, sometimes it's hard for people because they like that consistency. Um, but as you've seen through the years of just technology itself, you know, a whole room like my classroom uh, would. Fill, would be you know filled with a computer for example and as the years have rolled have, has gone by computers have gotten smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and the computer that it's in front of you right now that smartphone that's a computer so people long ago would would be amazed to know that a smartphone this this little thing um uh, is is a computer in itself versus what you know it was way back when uh, in an entire room. So what do you love? So important to have passion and love for the content you create and the people that you help. Now here's a timeline for success. Overnight success takes 10 years. Does it take 10 years? No. But as we've gone through YouTube secrets, these two gentlemen right back here, Sean Cannell and Benji Travis, it's taken 10 years, 10 long, hard years to get to where they are. And now they're not struggling as they did when they first began. They're really at the top of their game and people are now wanting to be like them, such as I, um, and they're now giving back to others. And this is where people such as, uh, and I hope I don't butcher this, Vernaculous Nerdgasm, he's a tech guy, and it took him seven years to get up in the algorithm in YouTube to become popular. John Kohler, he has his own YouTube channel called Growing Your Greens. He had a lot of slow years before he got hugely popular. And then Judy Travis, that's Benji's wife. 
two years of uploading videos straight. Just uploading. The success um, didn't come right away. It took her. It took three rejections to try to get on the YouTube Partners Program, and that takes a lot. That's a lot of hard work that you need to show that your videos are consistent for viewership as well as subscribers. Three rejections. And then it took her a whole nother year to finally leave what she's doing and become a full-time YouTuber to get the residual monetary income that would support her family. That's a lot of struggle. But Judy Travis made it, and so did her husband, Benji. So greatness takes time, and I am a product of that. And I'm very, very proud of where I've been. And for me, uh, it started in, in aquatics. Uh, I love being in around the water. And so when I started way back in the day as a lifeguard, there was no future interest in taking what I did in aquatics and owning my own small company that deals with aquatics, lifeguarding, teaching CPR, teaching swim lessons, um, those types of things. I never knew I could make a career out of it. And I'm an entrepreneur. Filipino Student Association. I was their first president in 1993. Literally 28 years later, I'm obviously an alumni and I help out the um, past presidents if they want the advice and we talk about how FSA is going um, at UCF. Another one is teaching. Currently, I am a full-time teacher. Who knew, who, who knew that nine years ago, um, I didn't know. I didn't know that I was becoming a full-time teacher. Um, I was, you know, becoming a substitute teacher to help supplement the beginning of our business, um, our safety business. And through those, you know, three years of substitute teaching, you know, in and around our county, um, I finally... Uh, took the plunge and um, I became a full-time teacher. But that was only the beginning. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about teaching in school, the first year, all you're trying to do is survive. You're just trying to survive. So I kind of equate that to boot camp. Um, have I ever been in the military? No, but what I mean by that is that those folks who want to be in the military, they have to go through this rigorous program of boot camp um, or maybe a specialization within their military branch. And you literally have to just survive and hopefully thrive in order to become great. And so here I am now. Um, let's see now. One, two, two and a half months now into the sixth year of teaching, and now Blab Dad feels comfortable being a teacher. I know what I'm doing, I feel comfortable, I'm confident, um, and I didn't struggle, and it's funny when you look back at your struggles, how hard it was, and where you are now, those struggles really, really make the person, and that's who you are. So one of the last things I'm gonna add to the um, part of my greatness that a lot of people have experienced, not just me, but experience equals wisdom. Experience equals wisdom. When you experience more and more and more of the things that you're doing, you become wiser to the things that you know. And it's the same thing with YouTube. Here I am trying to get into the YouTube game. I know nothing. So I had to reach out to people who know something. Thus, YouTube Secrets, Sean Cannell and Benji Travis, they've helped me discover another part of me that I, that I didn't know existed. Now, have I been on YouTube before? Yes. Have I done videos before? Yes. Have I made a channel? Yes. To the extent of what I'm trying to do now in my YouTube channel journey, not even close. So again, experience equals wisdom. And for both of those gentlemen, it took 10 years of experience to have the wisdom to make a book of YouTube secrets 
to have video influencers as their YouTube channel to help others become successful as they have become successful. That's it, folks. It's blank. Wow. <laughs> We've gone through. Let me go through the, the table of contents so we can see. So in the table of contents, I've gone through introduction, part one of the seven C's of courage, clarity, channel, content, community, cash, consistency. Then part two with tactics. Social media, discoverability, collaboration, trends of tent poles, team think differently, and conclusion. Um, we're talking over the span of what is that? And I also did an introduction to YouTube secrets. So 13, 14, 15, somewhere around 15 or 16 videos. A video series. I have never done that before. And I did. I'm so excited. I, I'm literally at the end. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I do know what to do. I'm going to make my YouTube channel uh, better um, than it's ever had been. Again, you're trying to do um, better than what you did before, the, like the day before or whatever your experience is. So anybody could do it. If I can do it, you could do it. And uh, through the uh, my YouTube channel journey, I hope you all have had a chance to see all the videos Hopefully you've bought this book, YouTube Secrets, and go through your own YouTube channel journey just like I am. So you can hopefully one day become a success, um, have that passion and do what you want to do, have it monetized and be a work for yourself and, um, and be a success. So again, I guess this might be the final send-off um, of YouTube Secrets, my YouTube channel journey. All right, it's been a pleasure, everybody. And uh, we'll definitely see you in the next video on my YouTube channel, Blabdad. All right, everybody.